welcome to the container inspection tutorials. In this video we are going to know about container door parts, and their functions. Every container, comprises following parts, I will describe them, one by one in detail. Locking bars. Every container comprises, four locking rods. This is the long rod, which locks the doors of the containers with the help of handles when rotated. Locking bars handle. It is attached with the locking rod. Handle catcher, the rotating part of the retainer catch set which locks the door in the closed position. Handle retainer, a device to hold the locking bar handle. Guide, guide of the container keeps the locking bars in proper alignment. Brackets, a device attaching the locking bars from top and bottoms with bushing. Cam, a device attached on the top and bottom of the locking bars to lock the doors. Cam keeper, where cams are locked. They are on the top and bottom of the container. Door hinges and pin, door hinges are attached on the doors to make it open or closed. Door sill, rear bottom portion is called door sill. J-bar, J-bar is the portion on the left and right side of each doors. It's like J-shape. Door header, or rear header, top of the rear side is called door header, where cam keepers are fitted. Door box or panel, steel box of the door, is called door box or door panel. Door frame, four corners of the doors are called door frame. Gasket, rubber gasket is attached, at each side of containers doors, to keep them air and water tied. CSC plate, this plate is affixed on each container's door at the time of manufacturing. It comprises ACEP information weight, size and date of manufacture etc etc. My next topic will be, under structure and side body. If you like my video, please subscribe, 